Welcome back. Your time is 7.30. A question for you this morning. What do you teach your kids about money, prosperity, and how to get rich? If you're like most people, the answer is probably not too much. So here to educate us this morning is the author of this book, Secrets of Self-Made Millionaires that, uh, that Teach Their Kids, Steve Siebel, this morning. Good morning. Good morning. So thanks so much for joining me this morning. Uh, this has been a book, what, 34 years in the making? 34 years. Wow. Long time. Okay. <laughs> Finally in print. Tell us a little bit about this. What inspired you to do research on this, first off, and how this came to be? Well, in 1984, I was a, a broke college student in Mobile, mm -hmm. Alabama, as we were just talking about off yeah. air, and South Alabama, and I wanted to be rich. So I started interviewing rich people, okay. and one of the questions I asked them, I always thought I was going to have kids someday, sure. so I asked them, what do you teach your kids mm -hmm. that the average person with average amount of money, you know, don't teach them. Right. And for 34 years, I've, I've continued the interviews, and finally I put it in a book, all the 160 top secrets that, that they teach their kids that the middle class does not. Wow, okay. So um, some things that we can teach our kids is first, they deserve to be rich. Why is this somewhat of a misconception? Why do people feel like they don't deserve to be rich? I think there's a lot of brainwashing, a lot of programming that says rich people are bad, rich people are, you know, uh, shallow, that mm -hmm. type of thing. They're not nice people. They're just out for the money, and it's ridiculous. We live in a capitalistic society that sure. built, that's, you know, we, we, we dominate the world because of our capitalistic society. So kids deserve to be rich or people deserve to be rich if they go out there and they solve problems for right. other people. Okay, and you talk about magical thinking. What is that? This idea that they're just going to have money and have all these things they want and sure. it's just going to come to them. They're going to win the lottery. Mm -hmm. Someone's going to show up on their door. They're going to inherit money. And a lot of people really believe that. 66% hmm. okay. of the people that play the lottery um, are either poor or very low middle class in terms of, in terms of income and net worth. Because we're waiting on to we're wake We're waiting for it to fall day. to the sky. It's not going sure. to fall. You're going to have to go get it. Okay, and uh, let's talk about entitlement a little bit too. What exactly does entitlement have to do with becoming rich or making ourselves rich? Well, teaching your kids that this you're not owed anything. You, you can go out there and get anything you want in America, but you're not owed anything. No one owes you anything, including a living. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to have to go out there and serve people and help people and make your money an honest, in an honest fashion. Okay, and then two other big points that you make. Um, thinking for ourselves and then raising our expectations. Yeah, there's all these people when you're a kid, obviously, that, you know, it's the church, it's the school, it's the sports teams, it's mm -hmm. the coaches, the Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts leaders, all these adults of influence telling you what you should think. And what we say is think for yourself. Self-made millionaires teach their kids how to think for themselves, okay. solve their own problems. Sure. So. Okay, and then raising that expectation to go out, set that bar high for yourself and, and really setting that goal to achieve your goals? Sure. A lot of times people say, psych some psychologists actually uh -huh. say, so you probably heard this, lower your expectations so you're not disappointed. <laughs> That's not sure. how we built America. We That's built true. America by raising our level of expectation mm -hmm. and going out there and staking, having the guts to stake our claim. And that's what self-made millionaires teach their kids. Now, the challenge is that a lot of folks who are trying to get rich themselves don't know how to teach their kids to do so because they're struggling as parents to do so. So sure. that's something that your book is going to help with is to implement those simple factors that you can do to help yourself become rich as well as your children. Yeah, absolutely. What I would say is don't saddle your kids with the limiting beliefs that you may you may have or may not have. The average okay. person has a lot of limiting beliefs. I know I, I grew up with them as well. Mm -hmm. Don't saddle your kids with that. Teach them what the rich teach their kids and they'll have a completely different future. Sure. All right, perfect. Steve Siebel joining me in the studio. If you want to check out this book, we will post information for you on our website on WACH.com so you can check it out there. If you're looking to purchase, we have a link to his website as well. Thanks for coming in this morning Thanks, and uh, Candace. giving us some encouragement to go and pursue our dreams. So stay with us. We have more Good Day Columbia coming up right after the break.